uh, tell me about the Chris Bird fight. Give me the whole experience of that because I'm a fan. I watched that when I was a kid. Um, what was that? What are your memories of the Chris Bird fight, both leading up to it and the in-ring fight? Oh, man, that was a great memory. That was in my 20s. That was my first heavyweight championship fight. I was so geeked. And then um, moving back to my country to have you know, this country, you know, lifted on my shoulders, you know, cheering me on for the most prestigious title of sports, the World Heavyweight Championship. It was a dream come true. A kid from Chicago Housing Project. Well, born in Puerto, South Juan, Puerto Rico, moving as a, as a year old kid, raised in the housing project, surviving that successful amateur career. Go back to my country with, with big reception. They're cheering me on. And who I got in my corner? One of the most, you know, glorifying uh, athlete, boxer in the history of Puerto Rico, Tito Trinidad, you know, cheering me on. His father, my main head trainer. I mean, I had everything going for me, going to that fight, my mind, my confidence. There was nothing that's going to beat me, even though I was fighting a, a great champion, you know, former Olympian, Chris Bird. And there I am. You know, back in 2003, uh, putting on a clinic, you know, one of my great, greatest performances. You know, I remember going to the to the fight, you know, just promising, you know, my, my, my mom and my dad. And, you know, we came from, you know, from poverty. And here we are. And I'm going to promise you guys, you know, to bring this gold back. And, uh, and I did, even though the politics, the Don King, that was my last fight with Don King. Um, you know, I would have been heavyweight champion. But, of course, he made sure to pay his... Uh, the judges, because like George Foreman said that night, you know, this is a fight, you know, that, you know, in other words, Don King had to pay the judges to make that type of decision because even Chris Bird, if you guys notice it, you know, his attorney, John Horner, where they were saying, please give us a rematch. Before their decision was announced, they just knew they lost. They knew they lost. And man, you know, I was so excited. And when they announced the decision, that was the most darkest night of my life, you know, it was just, just thinking about it, you know, my family, my father, my mom, my siblings, you know, just rejoicing that, wow, we finally got a world championship in, in Puerto Rico in the heavyweight division, you know, because we're known for waltz waist, lightweight, you know, Puerto Rico's the island of small champions, but I was, would have been the biggest, biggest one, but they still recognize me as a world champion because the whole world seen what I did. Even Chris Bird, I just met, had a podcast, um, with him finally him admitting that you know i should have got that decision which meant, meant a lot to me which i which i posted on my social media on my instagram on facebook so hopefully you guys will check that out and follow me but um 